Hey guys, this is my third video on Sailor Jupiter. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I add um, special details to my artwork. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start like detail shading, highlights, things like that. I'm also going to go ahead and try and get uh, this background done. I'm going to try and recreate that background and show you how to do that as well. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start with her eyes since that's where I started when I colored it. So I'm going to go ahead and get closer to where I see her pupil right there. I'm going to find where that pupil is. She's probably up around here somewhere. Nope, that's her outline. Might want to write that in. It's very important to write uh, what each layer is so you don't get lost like I just did. <laughs> uh, so go ahead and keep that in mind to do that. It'll help you a lot better when you're trying to sort through. Um, not sure what that is. Guess that's just an extra layer. Five. There we go. In my last video, I said that you guys could blur it if you wanted to. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try that effect, see if it works. Uh, so hopefully that works out well. To do that, once again, you're gonna go to filter. You're gonna go all the way down to blur, and then it's gonna pick up all the blur options you have. I usually use Gaussian blur. That usually seems to be good enough. Um, and they'll just, it'll set already what it has, and then you can either go higher or lower um, this seems like a pretty good amount right here nothing too fancy so I'm gonna go ahead and press ok and then I'm also gonna attempt to do something that a friend of mine taught me uh, to try and make the eyes look a lot more real um, so one of the things she did was she added um, or actually rather she blurred or blurred it and then she smudged it out so it kind of looks like the inside of an actual eye um, so I'm gonna attempt to do that so bear with me because this is I haven't done this in a while find the right brush for this let's say maybe this one's okay okay we're gonna go a little bit closer and then oh see that's way too strong of a smudge so let's try here it's all by trial and error we can also you can also lessen the strength of the smudge by going up here on the top where it says strength and lowering it so let's try 75. Okay, that seems pretty good. And you wanna just make small little smudges. And like I said, the point of this is to try and make it look more like an eye. So if you want, you could even go make it smaller and then try and make like smaller smudges inside because the more smudges you make the more it's going to give that realistic look that you'd see when you look into an actual eye at least that's the hope okay and then if you go out there you go and you want to go ahead and fix a little bit more that way it doesn't look so noticeable that it's smudged And then what we're gonna do on top of that is we're gonna add extra highlights here. So I'm gonna go on top, make a separate layer. I'm gonna go ahead and take this green color, make it a little more brighter. Take our brush, get closer. I'm gonna fix the brush, make it a little smaller. Cause these you're also gonna smudge and you're gonna put it in between those layers that I just did. Like that, so you wanna make it because now you're just detailing the smudge that you just did. And then you're gonna go ahead and hike up the color even more. Because you wanna have multi different colors, that way it blends in a lot more. do the same thing I showed you last time we're gonna go ahead and smudge the lines you could probably use Gaussian blur if you wanted um, but I like to do it this way because that way I can actually control the smudge better so I mean it's up to you you can kind of create your own smudge effect or you can use the Gaussian blur but then the problem with the Gaussian blur is it only goes so many ways you can't really control it um, past those few ways so that's why this one's much better because you can control which way you want to smudge it. Okay, 
and there you go. And so now we're going to take the layer that we just did and we're going to go ahead and you can start off with overlay if you want, um, but because it's a highlight, if you want, you can go even higher where it says color dodge and you see that nice blending that it'll do. You can do that. Or if you want something a little more subtle, you can go lower and then just fix, you know, find the old, the color that works for you. See, if you do overlay, you see how much it blends in and that looks really, really great. And if you don't like that, it's not that strong, that's fine. You can right click, duplicate your layer and it'll make it even stronger. And then if you want, you could even blend that layer into the other layer. So you get something that's more pronounced, but it'll be in the spots that you want it to be more pronounced, if that makes sense. So we're gonna go ahead and use our burn tool, which is something you find right under the smudge tool. It's this little lollipop looking thing right there. There's the dodge, which highlights burn is what makes it darker. So you're gonna take your burn tool and you can do like a test one on the side and then you're going to go ahead and create that darker look right around. And then if you want to make the color richer, you can go up to image, you go up to adjustments, you can either do brighter contrast or hue and saturation. Because right now you can change the hue of her eyes, which obviously you're not going to want to do because her eyes are green. But you can either bring up the saturation of it, see how rich that color looks, which actually that's a great color. And then you can also lower the lightness to make it darker. But honestly, when you do that, I think it's better that you use the bright and the contrast because you can add the contrast to it and it'll look it more fresher. See? And then the brightness. All right, and once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and focus on this green part right here. Um, if you want, you can turn that into a highlight. Um, what I mean by that is you do the same thing you did with this one. So you're gonna go to Outer Glow. You're gonna select the color, you're gonna pick that color, and then it'll stand out more. See that? So if you wanna make that glow, you can. Um, that looks fine to me. I don't want to make it glow too much because then it just looks weird. So we'll actually lower the opacity of it. And then you can also blur this one too. See how that works out for you. But that's only if you want to. See? And that adds an extra dimension. So you could do that if you want. I actually like the way it looks. So I'm going to try that. And then now we're going to go where the eyes are, you can go like there, and we're gonna add some extra whiteness in there. So we're gonna take the brush we had before that we used originally to make that shape. And we're just gonna add some extra, some extra shine. Then something I like to do with my eyes, especially when there's a character in motion. Um, in some animes, you notice that sometimes their pupils out here will be kind of swaying a bit, which I'll show you what I mean in a second. Okay, so you're going to take your smudge tool over here. Go ahead and pick a good uh, smudge for you. Side, and we're going to swipe. It helps because it brings out that motion that she's doing. Right now she's in that kind of fighting action motion. So this helps to kind of show you that she's in motion. So when you back up, you see that? Now you can see the motion. Kind of puts more, uh, more character into her eyes. So, all right. I'm pretty, I'm pretty much, uh, I'm satisfied with the eyes, so I'm going to leave them like that. So that's how I put detail into my eyes. Um, once again, that, you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but I um, just wanted to show you how I do things. So that's pretty much how it's done. Uh, there's different ways you can go about doing it. Um, really just play around with the gradients and stuff, but um, more or less, you know, that's just how I like to add a little extra oomph. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on the rest of her now. I'm going to go ahead and start with the face, and then I'll show you how to do that. So for the face, here are the shades. I found them. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to add extra shade into those shades. 
and I'm going to use gradient which is something I've been talking about for a while gradient is pretty awesome when you're shading a character I'm going to show you why so here we go we're going to put an extra layer on top of the shades we're going to go ahead and shape out our shade I'm going to right click create vector mask and it's going to create that single layer that I told you where it isolates one area then you're going to take your gradient tool over here you're going to make sure that it's set to black and white and then you're going to go ahead and extend and there you go now obviously you're going to want it a little darker because you are making a shade for her but what you would do first is you can set it to either soft light or overlay which one you like best um, just depends on the situation and then you're gonna go ahead and find that gradient see so I went a little bit lower because that's my darker side and so look at that now you can see that extra shade if it's too hard or abrasive you can always lower the opacity see that so now it looks more softer as it's going in I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the rest of the face and then I will meet you back we'll start over and do the um, highlights on her face So I'm done with her face. So here's all the pretty details I added. I went ahead and heightened up her eyes. I gave her a soft texture um, of lips. So now she looks like she has real lips. I added a lot of highlights to her face. Um, over here on the side, over here, right here, this, this. So it's not like a lot of things were done, but just enough to kind of highlight the quality, make her look a lot more uh, shinier. <laughs> A lot more epic and so now I'm gonna go ahead and add details into her outfit and into her hair and then I'll meet you back Okay, so I've finished completely coloring her. I'm gonna go ahead and work on the background now. Um, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and merge everything together. So I'm gonna take off everything, leave it transparent like that. And you go all the way up. Click on your first layer, right click, press merge visible. That's gonna merge everything together. And there you go. And then to highlight it just a bit, if you wanna add an extra oomph to it, you can double click, or sorry, right click, duplicate the layer. If you want, some, uh, you can add some Gaussian Blur to it. And then you can go ahead and add this. So it softens up everything for you. If you don't want to do that, that's fine. Don't have to, but I'm just giving you an extra option. And then you can go ahead, and if you go a little closer, you can see that Gaussian Blur. How nice and soft it makes everything look. And you can merge down. And that'll be your image. See? Okay. And then you go ahead and add this back. Because I'm going to go ahead and try and recreate this background, which is pretty simple. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and make an extra background behind. We are going to go ahead and try and get these colors in. And then she's got a few dark streaks. So we're going to try and take those dark streaks out. Go ahead and pick any tool you like this one might work good and for the background now I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my tablet because I feel like that'll be easier to help me do it so give me just a second to switch and then I'll be right back with you guys okay so I've set my tablet up so I'm gonna go ahead and try working on the background I'm still gonna use my mouse for a few things um, but more or less I'm gonna go ahead and be on the tablet now and I'm gonna go ahead and try and recreate this background Okay, so I'm done with the background. I did the best I could to recreate it. Um, I added some extra touches. 
I added some extra lightning on top of her like that, but I think that's a little too much. However, um, I still did do it. Uh, so yeah, that's the complete look of it. All right, so this concludes Sailor Jupiter. Um, thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, go ahead and thumbs up. If you didn't like it, go ahead and thumbs down. And remember to subscribe to my channel to see more of uh, my art and things like this as well. Alright, see ya!